Hello, I've got an ongoing project which is to try and play back a load of 78s. So in order to do that, I thought I'd upgrade the Crosley. You might have seen that in my previous videos. And I put on a new cartridge. I'll show you how it got on. Westlife did a video a couple of years ago where he put a new cartridge in place of the Chewadenchi thing with the red thing like this. And he put on what is called a BP2 ATC. This is one of the ones with the flip over stylus so you can get the proper styluses for 78s and LPs and if you don't do that it comes with the two LP ones. However it's a higher quality output. It's a similar level to the one that comes with it, the Chewadenchi, but this one has is a magnetic type cartridge so you can use it and get a better sound. And it's a direct clip in allegedly for the Chewadenchi and the styluses are compatible with the old BSRs, so they're readily available. But it should be said that at £9 something, it's a lot more expensive than the Chewadenchi type clones. So now we're looking at the actual turntable here, and you can see it's the cheap, nasty, sort of Chinese generic thing. However, it turns at 78 RPM, and uh, it sounds okay. So I thought it was worth doing. And this is the bit we've got to change. The one big problem we've got is you see how deep that lip is. We can't actually get into it. So it's going to be a bit fun, maybe. Let's have a get on. At this point, what I've done is I've put my fingernail under the front and just tipped it down from the front and it's dropped out. So now I can see there's the four wires. have got the white and the red and two blacks. Now it's important you should take note of where they are. And this is what we're going to replace them with. This is the, as it comes in its nice little box with the, what looks like green felt. And you can see there it's very similar to the one we're going to replace, except for it's got the turnover to stylus. So looking at that there, looking at that there, making sure everything's okay, let's get stuck into the replacement. To do this easily and quickly, you're going to need some needle nose pliers, some small needle nose pliers. You're going to have to grab the, the wires at the back of the cartridge and pull them off without actually pulling on the insulation. You have to do it on the actual furrow I think is the word you have to pull without crushing it and to get it to slide off because although it's not the end of the world if you do tear the wire it's a hell of a job to try and repair right having given you that warning so far so good let's see how we get on with the next bit which is swapping the wires over I've put the wires on exactly as they were on the other one red and white and that now I've just got to lift it up and we've got to just angle it and clip it back on to the head shell so to put it back in, what you've got to do is you've got to put the rear in first and then the front up and it just clips in. Having successfully clipped it in, this is what you should have, except that uh, there's a slight problem. And you can see here what the problem is. The black wire has fallen off one of the, one of the pins and I'm going to have to try and reattach that. Now this is where it starts to get a bit fun because th that wood lip is still in the way. You can't get any height on the tone arm and you've got to try and get that on. You can see from this shot the silly angle to try and get that. You can't really see anything. I can't even get the camera in properly, so it's going to be not that easy. Oh. Well, maybe a couple of years ago I could have shown you something, but today, look at that. Steady as a rock. Yeah, but I shoot with this hand. Well, welcome to my world. Trying to get in there with a pair of needle nose pliers to get that onto that furrow at that silly angle that you can see there, it was not easy. It took a lot longer than it should have done, but nevertheless, it went on because I took it carefully. And that's the key word here, carefully. And having got them on, let's now try it out. So we need a record. Enter the Cabbage Patch Kids, and we can try this out. It's 33 RPM, and it's quite a nice record. I played a little bit before, it sounds okay. It's not exactly um, Pink Floyd, but you know. So we put the record on, and there's a strange thing with it, it's a, it's a fully manual turntable. You have to turn it, you have to pull the arm that way, and then it will quite happily start spinning. But look at this, what on earth is going on here? It did this once before, I, I did, never did, I thought it was the 45 adapter was catching on it, so I removed it, but it wasn't. This time I managed to work out what it is. You can see on there, see the lift for the tone arm? It overhangs the record, which means you've got to tuck the record in underneath it when you load it on. Otherwise, you get all that clunky, clunky, clunk, and it doesn't go around properly. Anyway, so do that, and you'll be well away. So now we can actually play some real tunes 
give it a go on here and drop the stylus and see where we go it's doing okay you can hear it in the background now i know for a fact that we're going to get caught on the uh, copyright if we're not very careful on this so i'm talking over this because it's quite, you can hear that it's happening you can hear that it's going on and hopefully you can hear it sounds quite nice so i'm happy with that those bbbs were a powerful weapon all right but they were kind of useless right now because there were only three varmints in the county that knew where here we have a handy socket so we can feed out to a digitalizer oh, splendid. let me have a look at them yes i think there's many things that they can do using that handy socket as there's no line output on this thing we're going to be able to now feed it into the ufo and then into the computer so we'll be able to get a direct feed that would be rather nice so Paris, and this will now be a good direct feed. <laughs> it was a happy bunch flying home. I don't know about you, but we I think it sounds pretty really good. It's red sun direct feed, down. And, and it's, the I'm talking about this because of the pretty. copyright thing. But well, you kids you can better get it. to bed. It's going to be a big day tomorrow. Oh, it's lovely. Can anyway, that's why I'm going to do it, and I just thought it was of interest. Yes, it's doable. Can it actually took me about 45 minutes if I hadn't been filming, and Sweet you just got to be careful. Watch where it is careful. Anyway, I hope that's been of some help to you and uh, interest. And if you've got any experience with this sort of thing, maybe you'd like to pop it in the comments. If you've got any way of doing it better, share the knowledge. That'd be good. Anyway, in the meantime, like, subscribe, share it about, and I'll catch you another time.